Hello folks, this is John from Advanced Diagnostics USA. I'd like to demonstrate the emulator, the ADC 2015 emulator. This is a 2014 Lexus IS250. This is a lost key situation. I've got an original key that I want to program and a, a, an aftermarket key that I want to program. Uh, it's not programmed to the car right now. And as you can see, no key detected. So. We're going to go ahead and to do this you'll see the uh, selections 952 which is the older software which uh, you can do the reset on uh, the new software is the 1226 that will require internet um, and i've got a uh, wi-fi connection so let's go ahead and actually i see i've got a, a triangle there showing i don't have internet connection uh, let me fix that. It's easy enough. There we go. Yeah, she bounces in and out. Put the hazards on. All right, those are our all important part number. These are all part number driven. Um, you may run into some that are uh, coming up as part number unsupported. If that happens on these, uh, no tool supports them all. If that happens on these, please send us the uh, pic of the uh, screen uh, that shows the unsupported part number. Uh, and we'll get it added. Uh, we're adding them all the time. So we go on this to the uh, selection after we've chosen uh, 1226. We go to all keys lost. And then we hit the green check. And then we have choices here. We can, we can use reset still on this. Um, all the functions are there, the same as 952. Just some people didn't buy the new software. I don't own the new software, so... Uh, and they're not on tokens, so uh, it's kind of redundant. Uh, the 952 is still there. The 1226 is is the new, and I've chosen that. So let's let's uh, go ahead and emulate. I've got the ADC 2015 emulator connected, so I'm going to go ahead and hit emulate. Okay, and this procedure will emulate a working key. All righty, and it tells us that the uh, 2015 is required for the DST Texas keys. That's what this is. If you happen to have the wrong emulator in there, it will tell you later that it's it's not the one it expected and you can just switch out. All right, so let's say yes on this and it tells me I need internet, which I'm connected. All right, and it goes to reading data. We got a nice progress bar going there. Okay, verifying data and it tells us the, the type and the number of keys that are in there. Uh, there are three keys that shows their IDs um so we skip that and go ahead with okay and again make sure we're connected yes and what we do is make sure the following conditions connect the key emulator yep it's connected make sure the vehicle status is off yep and remove any register keys from the cabin well it's a lost key so we don't have that problem so okay so we hit okay and the following steps will verify successful key emulation and an active working key so we hit okay and the emulator is initialized. And what we do is we hold it up to the start stop button with the emblem side of it down and we hit the start stop button, hovering it over. And there we go. The ignition comes on, dash lights up and you come back to the smart pro and you have a message to say in the emulation is uh, the key emulator is now active. Uh, that the use the emulator to present as the registered working key during add key or erase prox procedure. So if you disconnect the emulator, I need to re reactivate it, yeah. So we keep it connected. So what you do is you just hit, sim simply hit okay here. Okay. And we move right to add prox keys. Now what we'll do is hit the check mark on add prox keys. Okay, ignition is on, we've just left it on. Okay, that's what it wants. And that there are four, reg there are three registered, and there's four positions available. Do we want to continue? I say yes. Okay. Okay. Ensure the battery is installed in the new smart key. Yes, yes. And I hit okay. Um, okay. So you'll have uh, 30 seconds for these, and you press okay when you're ready. Uh, this, there's a time limit on these next steps. So you hit okay, and you touch the emulator up and you get the beep 
and the key is successfully detected. And now what you do is you hold up the key you want to program and you get two beeps. There we go. Quick little message there that it was authenticated and the key successfully registered. Do I want to do another one? Now at this point, if I wanted to do another one, the procedure would be exactly the same. It would have me hold up the emulator as the working key and then the key that I want to add. So, but I don't want to do one, uh, another one. I'm just, I'm all done right now. I've got four keys programmed into the car um, and uh, I'm all good. So I hit uh, that I don't want to do another one. Now, this is, we've had this, this can happen with, um, with any tool that you program uh, Toyota keys, the ECU link procedure can be lost. So the, what will happen is the, uh, the link is lost between the uh, ECUs on the remote uh, keyless entry. And so we've added that as a feature. So, and we suggest you can, you just do it. It's, it doesn't take long. And this will make sure that that link is synchronized. So you go ahead and say yes on this. Okay, ignition's in the on position, it still is, yep. And what you wanna do is it wants you to hold up a working key, you get one beep, and procedure complete, and that's it, it's all done. So at this point, I would turn my ignition off and test the functions on the key. And you see they work just perfectly. Alrighty, and that's it. All done. Thanks for watching.